Okay, so that's the bike washed and I've got a nice starting point for giving the bike a, a clean and a little service. So uh, next step, I'm going to remove this leg shield, this cover at the front of the bike. It's uh, It's been painted. I don't know if you saw when I was washing the bike, there were tons of white flakes uh, flying off the bike. But um, here you can see this cover's completely finished I think it's cracked and you know there's a piece missing in the middle you know where it's broken and so I think that's it right there actually so I'll I'll replace that they're just a few dollars and um, you can see that the fittings have also broken a little bit there and it's not fixed there so I think it's just here and here but that's not fitted and here and then here um, and then the same on the other side so I'll go ahead and remove this cover now okay Cover removed, that was quick enough, and uh, I believe that's a 10 millimeter socket. I had to try and find some millimeter sockets because all my tools are British Standard or American Fine. Uh, as they say in the UK, across the flat. Cover, so this is like a little rubber housing around the outside, then the filter. That's not too bad actually. It's in pretty decent condition, but I'll give it a good clean. It's not in bad condition. But you can see that there. It's a little brittle dried out and everything so I'll give that a good clean and then this okay. should only take a minute because most of the bolts aren't actually fitted side was 12, the other side a bit bigger, 14, yeah, 14 millimeter. Like I say, there's bolts missing. Well, this is broken at the bottom where it would have fitted. This one here is not fitted. I wonder if the nut's underneath. And same here. I think what happened is they they took it off. To, oh, this. course I just cleaned the bike so uh, I'll go ahead over the rest of that and um, clean that when I have a minute but that's it exposed now so I'm ready to be able to work a bit on the on the engine also I'll figure out what's going wrong with this fairing uh, this uh, leg protector and uh, see if I can get that refitted I might actually try and scrape the paint off because it's in a bit of a state here it actually looked better with the paint off. Maybe it looked okay when it was first done, but that's kind of a mess. So, uh, and, oh, there's some fiberglass work there as well, so, yeah, it's obviously got split at some point, so, but you don't see that. Yeah, I don't know how much they are, I should imagine it's a reasonable price. I'm not sure what to do here as well, that might need fixing, so. See if I can get some kind of a stent or something. Alright. 
that's it for now. Okay, back again. So that's the uh, fairing removed, and this just pulled off. So uh, it was stuck a little, actually stuck on this here. Got a little sticky. So anyway, that's taken care of, and uh, yeah, you can see the uh, silencer muffler is just a little rusty. It's an original, original Honda. So uh, I'll clean all this up. Um, I've removed the battery from inside of here as well. I'm going to get a new battery, of course, because this has been sat for years in a garage. And then I'll get the spark plug out and uh, just... Uh, engine's in fine condition. Everything's just... Yeah, super original. You know, just a little bit of dirt here and there, which is absolutely nothing. Um, got a crack here as well in the front fender. But for the most part, it's in really good condition. Especially after this clean.